guys and welcome back to today's video. So today I am back with a collective haul. This is pretty collective, it's from like, I'd say the past two months, but there is an item in here that I bought like last year that I just forgot to haul but I think it's really nice and that a lot of you guys would like it so I want to show it to you. Um, but I have like a whole range of things in here like from the beginning of summer to like rounding summer up and like preparing for like autumn winter. So I'm going to start out with bikinis because today's video is kindly sponsored by Kopshi. I've never really heard of this brand before until they contacted me and asked for like to work together and I do like trying out new products and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, these look really reasonably priced and I thought, you know what, I'll try them out because who doesn't like a bikini that costs like less than a million pounds because for some reason if you go anywhere they're like £60 each and that doesn't make any sense. Especially when you live in England because it's raining most of the time, like it's just, you wouldn't wear a bikini. But I'm going to start out with swimming costumes and then move on to like the two piece sets because I don't really wear like full one piece things but I wanted to try it out and see what it looked like. So the first one I got is this black and white striped one with a little bit of lace detailing. Um, this does have like padding in it, I'm not sure if it's removable or not, um, but I'm fine with padding. I really like the look of this one, I feel like it's quite classic, like as I said I don't really wear one piece bikinis but this looked like a really classic piece that I just should have. Um, the back does crisscross over and you can adjust the straps and everything like that so it's not too low or not too high. And then the back kind of meets with a little clasp. I really do like the look of this one. I don't usually like the look of, the, like, I call them swimming costumes. I don't usually wear one pieces because I don't usually like the look of them but this one actually did stand out to me so fingers crossed it fits well and fingers crossed it looks okay but you guys will see before I do because... Oh I know, I'll see before you do because I'm editing it but right now, in this moment of you watching it, you'll see it in like, you're probably seeing it already, you've probably seen it for like the past 30 seconds. That's what that looks like. I'm not 100% sure if I'll like this one because it is a little bit like, trendy for me. It's this like white and yellow one with a big cutout on the side. I've seen a lot of people wearing these and honestly the Instagram pictures look great. Um, it's got one shoulder and it... The texture of it's really nice as well, it's like ribbed material which I've never really seen that much in bikinis or bathing suits or anything like that. This stuff ha does have pads again, um, I'm not 100% sure if these are removable um, but either way it's fine. Um, and I think this is a high leg one as well, it looks like it would be. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it because I haven't tried it on yet but you guys can make your own wind up. Does it look nice? Does it look not look nice? Who knows. The next piece I have is this like khaki green one which I really like. I do really like the um, triangle shaped bikinis on me. I think it's quite flattering on my body shape. Um, this, I, I really like this one. It's got quite a thick band underneath the actual like cups I guess and then it's got adjustable straps again. I think everything should come with adjustable straps because everybody's built differently. Um, I really like this one. The ribbing, the quality is really nice. I'm actually like, I'm really impressed. Genuinely, if I'd have purchased all of these with my own money, I wouldn't be disappointed or felt like I'd been ripped off or anything like that. I think this is a really nice quality and I would I would definitely recommend it. And then the bottoms look like this. I'm not 100% sure if I'll like these because I do tend to like a cheekier bottom because if you know me, you know I don't have the biggest ass in the world so I kind of need all the help I can get. But we'll see how, we'll see how this looks. Um, I really like the colour scheme though, this green is one of my absolute favourite colours in general. The next one I got, I also really like. I like everything, obviously, because I've chosen it, <laughs> so if I keep saying that over and over again, it's because I picked everything and I don't pick things that I don't like. So this is the next one. The colour scheme I think is really cool, it's quite like 70s to me. Um, I really do kind of like the tie-dye thing and my favourite colour is blue. This kind of looks, on the camera from here, it looks kind of like tartan, but it is kind of like a tie-dye thing going on. The cups look a little bit small, but I'm sure I'll be able to like readjust. It'll work. For reference, I'm a 30D on top, and I usually wear like an 8 to 10 on bottom, and I got all of these in a size small, if you're wondering. And then the bottoms look like this. It's got the exact same pattern quite thick um, bands again and all of these bottoms are quite like modest so if you're the type of person that doesn't like anything to be too revealed I'd 100% say check these out because they'll definitely be for you. This next one has got kind of like a teal, would you call this teal? I'd call this teal kind of thing going on. I really like this. I like the fact that there's like, the pattern's really interesting to me. I feel like from a distance 
you wouldn't be able to tell what it is and up close it kind of makes more sense on the camera it kind of looks like stripes but this is absolutely gorgeous i love this one again it's not too revealing or anything like that i'd be happy with like my sister wearing this i don't think it's too revealing in the slightest and the back has got this kind of crisscross detailing as well and the strap says like double straps so there's just a lot going on here so it it's a really interesting bikini and i really do like this one and the bottoms just look like this i'd say this one is maybe my favorite out of all of them i think it's just really like it's different i haven't seen anything like this and the last one I've got is really confusing to show you because the top looks like this. It's one of those ones that you kind of put on like a backpack and then tie it around, if that makes sense. And it's got this um, banana leaf print all over it. Uh, the printing is really good quality. Sometimes you can get cheaper bikinis and the printing is kind of like blurred or not exactly focused or anything like that. But this is completely focused and it's come out really well, the printing has. It doesn't look cheap or anything like that. Um, I really like this one. I really like the um, banana leaf print. I think it's really pretty. And I love the ones that you tie as well because it looks really like delicate and dainty. And the bottoms just look like this, same as the rest. And that's all I can say about this one. I definitely say that this one's my favourite and then this one may be the runner-up. So they are all the bikinis that I've got from Cupshe. If you'd like to check them out, I really do recommend it. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to each one individually. So if you liked one of them or had a favourite, it'll be linked in the description so you can just go to the exact page. Um, but yeah, that's the bikinis and let's move on to probably shoes. I like doing things in sections. Let's go to shoes. Okay, so as for shoes, I've had to buy some new shoes because my friend's dog thought it'd be really fun to eat my brand new shoes that I really liked and now they're out of stock and they're never coming back so I bought two new shoes to try and meet in the middle of the one shoe which doesn't make any sense because I can't wear them both at the same time but the first pair I literally could not pass up these are Dr. Martin boots or Doc Martin boots and they're from TK Maxx and they were originally £150 down to £29.99 so I thought even if I don't wear them, I'm saving that much money that it's a good idea. And that's how my brain works in general. But I think these are really quirky, like it's not something that I'd usually go for, but with the winter coming up, there's really good grip on them as well. Like the other boots I'm about to show you are just completely flat. The grip on this does look quite good. And if you know me, I'm always in heels, like I'd never wear flats. And these are just, the quality is obviously amazing because they're Doc Martin. And I just think they're really different. Like I've never seen anything like this. They're kind of military to me, I don't know if that's the right word to describe them, but I think that's the vibe. I'm getting like kind of like military, like more like trekking, like a hiking boot, but really cool and not gross. Do you know what I mean? The next pair of boots are these ones. And these honestly are the comfiest boots I've ever worn. They've got double zips, one on the inside, one on the outside and these are from the brand XTI and they were £60 down to £24.99 in TK Maxx. If you don't know what TK Maxx is, it's like they sell like design, designer kind of like more expensive things for a lower price and it's not like a sale or anything like that, it's just what they do. Um, I think it's kind of like wholesale maybe, um, whatever. These are the comfiest boots I've ever, ever worn. It feels like it's got a memory foam cushion put into the bottom of the shoe. Like I can't even explain it. Literally, if I poke it, it like goes down and then like expands back up. So comfortable. Honestly, I really recommend these. I kind of, these give me like slight like cowboy vibes. Not entirely, but I think it's got something going on there. I feel like if there was more detailing here, it'd be more like accentuated. But these are really nice. They're kind of, these two boots mixed together is kind of like making up what I lost. RIP. Um, I was devastated. But I really like these. They're not too high either, they're kind of like a day-to-day -day boot, but you could also wear them with like a more dressy outfit as well. This is going to come as a shock to a lot of you guys, but I bought some trainers. If you're new to my channel, you'd be like, what are you on about? I don't wear trainers, I don't do that, I just don't do it. But I bought these, they're from Nike, obviously, I got them in JD Sports, I think they were like £49.99 maybe. Um, which is a lot of money to spend on shoes that you're not going to wear that often. But I have worn them like a fair amount. I'd say I've worn them four times since I've bought them. And I bought them like maybe three weeks ago. So that's, that's okay. That's like more than once a week. Um, but these are really comfortable. Obviously they're trainers. When I first got these I said to my friend it feels like I'm walking on like cushions. Um, obviously going from wearing heels to every day to wearing a pair of trainers 
it's a completely different experience but these are really nice they're not too like in your face i wanted something that's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more um what would the word be like not undertone but like you know it just kind of like slides past you you don't realize it's there like james bond in a shoe that type of thing trainers they're okay i don't love them because they're trainers but Whatever, they serve a purpose if I'm walking the, walking the dog or like, just chilling. Shoes. I don't know anybody who watches my videos to be honest, I'm just being honest. Lastly, I had to buy another pair of like, plimsolls because I bought some Converse that were really nice. And again, I don't wear trainers but I bought these Converse and I, I did wear them like, fairly regularly. And then my dog, who's asleep there looking like an angel, took it into the garden and just thought it'd be really good and fair, considering I do everything for him, to eat the shoe. Why? So I've got one of those, so if anybody's selling a left shoe to the Converse, let me know, because I need it. But I found these, I was at the till in TK Maxx and somebody had obviously like, gone over their budget and had to put them down before they got to the till. Relatable. Um, and I saw these and I was like, oh, they're nice. They're from Guess. They were only £30, which is the same price as a Converse. And they're kind of like this suede material, which I'm quite nervous about because obviously if suede gets wet, it gets a little bit ruined. But I've been being careful while I'm wearing them and I just really like the design. I don't really buy designy things like, oh, look, I've got Guess shoes. I've got Guess shoes. Like, I don't really care. These could be like from Asda and cost me like £2.50. And if they look the same and felt the same, I'd still like them just as much. But I really like the design of these, and it's got like little G's on the toe part here. It's just really subtle, like you wouldn't look at these and think, oh they're expensive shoes. Well actually, you might, but you wouldn't think they were like designer brand or anything like that because it's not in your face. I don't like that, when something's like, oh look at me, look at me, look at me, because I hate people looking at me, it just makes me self-conscious. So now on to clothing, I'm going to start with a bit of a random one, because this is the thing that I bought a year ago when it started like... I think I bought this in January last year and it is this coat from Michael Kors it's a white coat which obviously is like that's going to get dirty and it does need to be dry cleaned because I don't know if you can see but it does have like some marks on it and obviously I'm a woman, I wear makeup it kind of like rubs off onto the um, sides of it so it's got a little bit of an orangeness going on and it does need a dry cleaning but if you're looking for a coat this winter this is pricey to buy but I did actually buy this second hand because I think buying things that are so expensive First hand can be a little bit silly when you can buy them second hand in the exact same condition they would be if you got them from a shop. Um, so yeah, I got this second hand. I really like it. It's genuine Michael Kors. It's got like a pocket on the arm and everything. I really like it. And again, it's not in your face that it's an expensive brand, but I do prefer to go like up the brands when buying coats and stuff like that because if you buy a coat from Primark, we've all done it. It doesn't last. It's not warm. It's just not, there's no point because I end up buying four and probably spending a similar amount of money anyway. So, I would say invest in them like this. This is obviously huge. Like, this is like wearing a big, giant marshmallow. My brother said that I look like this thing called Baymax. If you haven't seen the film, I don't know what film it's from, but it's like this big white, like, thing. And I do look like it. I'll put a picture on screen. It's a good representation of what the coat looks like, but it's so warm. It's got like, it's quilted inside. You can see that it's just like, it's full of like feathers, like what a duvet is made out of. It's really warm. It's got a big, huge hood. It's just really nice. And I think white coats can look really, really classy as well. I really like this. Definitely, I'll try and put a link in the description, but you'll be able to find these on like eBay or Depop or even like Facebook Marketplace, which I got this from. I recommend it, it's really nice. I got that coat for £50 by the way, which I think it retails for like 375 or something like that. Um, so, I saved a lot of money and I'll get a lot of use out of it, because obviously I don't think I'm going to get any bigger, like weight wise, because I, I can't put weight on anyway. So the next thing I got is kind of like, I'm always told that I always dress way too over the top, so I've been making a conscious effort to try and look more chilled out, hence the trainers, hence the plimsolls, hence this. So this is like, it, it's like from the front, it just looks like a kind of like, almost like knitwear, but not quite. It's kind of in between the two. It just kind of looks like a slouchy casual top. And then on the back, it's got a hood, which kind of adds like a really casual vibe to it. Obviously I wouldn't put the hood up. I mean, you do you, but 
don't do it. Um, this is really cute. I got it from TK Maxx. I can't tell you how much it was. Maybe £10. And I also can't... Oh, I, t I can tell you it's from. It's from Fashion Go. It was made in Italy. Um, so, this, really nice. Really kind of in between. You can wear this with a pair of jeans and then like maybe the brown boots that I showed you. And it's quite like a nice like running to town or I've got a popped Tesco outfit you know what I mean I like it it's not too like I'm always dressed as I'm going to like the Queen's golden jubilee thing that's how I dress on a day-to-day -day basis so I've been trying not to do that and this has been helping the next thing I got this is in no particular order a lot of you guys saw this on my Instagram and also in the vlog that I just posted and it is this really beautiful dress it's blue and white my favorite colors are like blue and gold or blue and white and this is just stunning it's got a really low back I was told multiple times that day that I haven't zipped my dress up but I had it just it comes down low um, my boob did come out at one point just be warned maybe buy nipple covers or don't whatever you want to do I didn't um, and it's really pretty, it's got like a really deep V and it's just frilly and girly and it's just got like layered frills. It's just really pretty. I feel like you can wear this in the summer with some sandals and it's still kind of like not too over the top. Or you could wear this to a wedding with heels and it'd look really nice. The material's really really nice as well. And this is from the brand Naked and I feel like I've got a discount code maybe. So if I do it'll be in the description bar. But really nice. It's really good quality as well. Like it's just like... It's delicate, but it's not lightweight and flimsy, if you know what I mean. The next thing I've got is this dress. This is from the brand Parisian, and I absolutely love this brand. I've bought quite a few bits from there. I went to France, like, a month ago, almost. Almost a month ago, I think. I think I went on the 26th. Oh, it was a month ago. I would have been there a month ago. Anyway, like you care. Um, I bought this, which is from the brand Parisian, and... Ironically, I didn't know it was from the brand Parisian, but I got back and looked at all the tags and the things that I loved the most were all from this brand. I found a brand that I really love. Isn't this just gorgeous? Like, I posted a picture on my Instagram wearing this. It's just so pretty and like, I don't know. I just really, really, really love it. Like, the style of it, the cut of it, the neckline, the whole like silhouette of it, the like A-line skirt. It's just perfect. Like, and it's got lemons on it. I feel like lemons are like trendy at the moment it's like a lemon's trendy like I see people wearing lemons all the time um I don't know I feel like it might be trendy I'm making my mark on the world by wearing lemons but it's really cute and it's like I don't know don't you love it I don't have much to say other than the fact that it's really cute and it's like a really soft cotton as well and it's really cheap I think this is like 25 pound TK Maxx I think I'm gonna like make a vow to myself to only shop at TK Maxx because I get the best deals and I buy the best stuff. The next dress I got is from the brand Quiz. I was specifically looking for a blue and white dress. I've forgotten why now, but before I went on holiday it was really vital to me to have a blue and white dress. Like, if I hadn't got this blue and white dress, the trip would have been called off. But I found one. It's from the brand Quiz. I found this in Debenhams in Wolverhampton. If you've got a Debenhams where you live, they'll probably stop Quiz. But this is gorgeous like I tried it on in the changing rooms I asked Chuck his opinion Chuck's like four and gives the best style advice and he said yeah it's boo I like it so I went with it I like boo too so we both love it it's got a little peplum thing at the bottom the flowers are just it looks like an oil painting it's just so nice I wore this in Paris and Leon I wore this twice because just look at it I mean, I don't have anything to say about it other than just look at it. The next piece I got is actually what I bought when I went to London. You guys saw that in the vlog as well. I went to go and see Chicago. And I needed like a kind of casual, not casual, but not too dressy. Not like a dress and heels, but like jeans and a nice top. Um, and I was really struggling online to find anything that I liked. I know that... Um, Pretty Little Thing or Misguided have a jeans and a nice top section but everything was cropped and I'm just I'm not 12 and I can't be wearing things like that because that that with this hair and it's just people look is she confused 
So I found this. It was in Topshop. If you haven't been to Topshop recently, go in store. Don't go online. Go in store. This top was like, it said 15 on the tag and then at the till it came up as 10. So I think this is a pretty good steal. I got it in a size 8. It fits pretty well. I was in between an 8 and a 10, which is kind of the story of my life. I wish there was a 9. Can someone invent that? Because that's what size I am. But this is just amazing. It kind of makes me look pregnant. Um, but I don't mind that. Like people give up their seat for you and stuff. But <laughs> I'm so funny. So it looks like this. It's got a wraparound thing with a little... I just want you to call this. It's like you pull the material through and then you pull it through again and then it tightens. I should be a teacher. The next thing I got is a pair of jeans and these are Levi's and before you're like, <gasps> they were on sale. I buy everything on sale. I'm a smart shopper. So these are the 710 super skinny jeans. These I got in a waist 24 and a leg 32 and they fit me perfectly. They are like, you get them like tailored to your exact size and they're stretchy as well. Like that looks like really tiny, but they're like really stretchy and nice. Levi's are supposed to make your butt look good. And like I've already said once in this video, I need all the help I can get uh, until I can pay for my butt surgery. Please donate to my GoFundMe page. But these jeans, Levi's, super skinny, 710, would recommend them. They're not high-waisted. I don't like high-waisted jeans. I'm not a fan of high-waisted jeans, but these are like, they come below the belly button, they're not mid-rise, they're just like, sorry my dog's like mooching around. Perfect. I love the colour of these, I'm definitely going to get more. I got these from House of Fraser. I never know if it's House of Fraser or House of Fraser. I don't know. But dark blue, I think I'm going to stock up on these in like white, black, a lighter wash blue and a more like natural denim blue. I think I have about 20 pairs of jeans, I just don't stop. And I only wear like three of them, I don't know why I keep buying them. But these are the ones that I'm definitely going to keep buying. They've got pockets on the back and pockets on the front that actually work. And a mini pocket. I love the mini pockets. But that's them, I like them. And they say Levi's on the butt so everybody thinks you're rich but you got them in the sale. So the second last thing I've got is this blazer. So I told you about the shoes earlier that my friend's dog chewed up the boots. Not the converse that got chewed up the boots. I was in Stratford, I think, and this woman walked past with like really nice hair. She was like 45. A lot of you guys ask my like style inspo. I just go to like mom clubs and like look at the middle aged women and think she looks cute, she looks cute, she looks cute, and just copy what they're wearing basically. Because that's what I'm aiming for in life. So this woman walks past, really nice hair. She's wearing like a bluish blazer like this. Dark blue jeans like the Levi's I just showed you and a white Levi's t-shirt with these brown boots. And I was like, that is a really good outfit. That is really good. So I went home and I went on New Look and I found this beautiful blazer that looks like this. It's not too like, I'm going to work. It's more like, ooh, I'm a fancy mom and I'm dropping my kids at school and then I'm running errands and then I'm coming back and making a big fancy dinner and my husband loves me and he isn't sleeping with his secretary. This is the blazer that sums everything up in life. It's blue, it's got pockets, it's got white buttons, you can roll the sleeves up and it's got like this grey jersey material inside. So it just adds to that like casual vibe, like when you roll it up it's got the jersey in so it's like ooh, she knows what she's doing. Even though I really don't. This was really cheap, I think it was like £26. So my aim is, my aim is to buy the Levi's top to go with it. And then I'll be wearing this with the Levi's top and the Levi's jeans with the brown boots. And I'll look exactly like the woman from Stratford. Thank you, Claire, if you're watching. Finally, last thing. This is also, this is also from TK Maxx. Me fucking dog setting on it. And this is from Devotion by Cyrus. I got it in a size small. I initially picked this up in a size large. And usually I like just buy things that are bigger and just like kind of make it work, but it drowned me. Like this is already a big oversized cardigan. So if you're a small, stick to a small because it's already oversized. Don't buy a large. You'll look like you're wearing Hagrid's coat. So this is gorgeous. It's not showing up true to color on the camera, which is irritating, but it's really pretty. The sleeves have been rolled up. It's got kind of like a, 
it's not exactly tartan but it's got that kind of vibe going on it's just so comfortable i've been wearing this so often with just kind of like blue jeans or black jeans and with like a black vest top because this is so warm like this is a really good like transition piece we don't really have like a transition in england from like summer to winter it's just like summer to freezing we don't have it in between but this is really nice and it's got pockets it's got big huge pockets and that's that i've got uh poo bags in them because i'm a good mom and that's it that's everything i will try and link everything in the description i will definitely have the links for the cup shoe bikinis and everything else i'll try and find but because it's from like tk maxx and stuff like that i don't know if i'll be able to get you the direct links like as for these like shoes and stuff like that i'll probably have to link you to the exact like ones on the guest website um but shop around have a look around like you don't have to buy directly like from my links um but i'm sure about to find some like good deals I really like everything I've showed you and thank you again to Cupshe for sponsoring today's video. I genuinely really like these bikinis. I'm pretty sure you're about to see like on the try on clip that they fit really nicely and just kind of look more expensive than they are. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye.